All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. So Ubisoft has just released the official story trailer for the highly anticipated Star Wars Outlaws. Now I say highly anticipated because I'm actually quite excited for this game. I do feel like even though Ubisoft has had a couple of misses in the past, I feel like a Star Wars universe and Ubisoft, you mesh those two together and that could be a recipe for something really incredible if done correctly. And I feel like based on the gameplay that we saw a few months ago, the game looks pretty good. So in this video, we're going to be checking out the official story trailer because we have no idea what the story is all about. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a little bit of a better understanding of the story. So sit back, relax, and let's do this. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. The world looks great, dude. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. This definitely looks like gameplay graphics Daba, and... Right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... It looks good. For. for about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Dude, I'm excited. I'm so freaking excited. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot yes. of freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. Yes. Come on. I am so excited for this game, dude. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Ooh, so nice. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. Look at so that. I'm gonna risk it all. Hold on, Nick! Wow. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. So, it's gonna be available on August 30th. I actually saw that it got leaked earlier today. I don't want to mention anything at the beginning of the video because I didn't want to like misquote or give you guys any false information, but it is confirmed that August 30th, this game will be, will be available. And it's almost crazy to say that because that's just a short few months away. This game will be available. I'm assuming the marketing will start to ramp up from now on, but it just feels like we really haven't seen much from it. And just to think that it's almost here, it's kind of crazy looking at this trailer there's a breakdown trailer that i'm gonna watch as well because it's gonna have um somebody obviously talking over the actual trailer and we'll get even more information but i just want to say one thing the weapons look great you know the, the 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 vehicles look like they're gonna be a blast this obviously is a massive open world from what it looks like and you can see some of the parkour that's being implemented um in some of the gameplay footage that we saw there i feel like when we have respawn star wars I gotta say, I probably gotta rank the first one above the second one. And I only say that because my experience with Star Wars Jedi Survivor uh, was not as pleasant as with the first game. Just because I felt like Respawn tried to go too big on the world and again, playing on console, the graphic fidelity, the performance was just pretty bad. It was like almost borderline terrible. I know it's been fixed and obviously if you play it on PC, it's much better. But having Ubisoft take on a star wars video game that is open world and then implementing their parkour system doesn't have to be their assassin's creed 
parkour system but we know that ubisoft is really comfortable and has some knowledge from their previous titles with some pretty good parkour so i'm assuming mixing in the vehicles mixing in the weapons and mixing in the parkour maybe not like assassin's creed but something similar i mean almost every single ubisoft game has parkour to some extent i feel like that could be a really fun game that's just my opinion um I'm going to just shut up before I get all over the place here. We're going to check out the breakdown. So again, we get a little bit of a better understanding. I'm loving this so far. I, I really am. I, I really think this is going to be a really fun time. Today, I'm going to give you more information about what you saw in the new story trailer, including details about new characters and criminal syndicates. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Slero is one of the galaxy's elite, living in Canto Bight and leading his own burgeoning and highly lethal criminal syndicate, Zarek Besh. Slero organized this gathering of syndicates as a demonstration of that power and to show that his organization, Zarek Besh, should not be crossed. It's a golden age for the underworld. Mm. In the golden age of crime syndicates, the syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws are spread across the Outer Rim and their impact can be felt everywhere. We have previously shared that the Pike Syndicate, the Hutt Cartel, and the Ashiga Clan, which is a new syndicate created in close collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games, are in the game. Today, oh, yeah. we got to reveal that the elegant and sophisticated, yet highly dangerous syndicate, Crimson Dawn, will also be a key player in the underworld of Star Wars Outlaws. Across the Outer Rim, Kay will build her reputation and form tense and ever-changing alliances with each of these syndicates, which will offer varying gameplay and narrative opportunities depending on your actions. Whether providing you access to some of the most lucrative jobs in the galaxy, or hunting you down if you've double-crossed them. What do you want? Zarek Besh. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Jalen is somewhat of a mentor for Kay. He's a fellow scoundrel that has a lot of experience in the underworld, and he sees potential in her. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. Jalen offers Kay her one shot at ultimate freedom to pull off one of the greatest heists the galaxy has ever seen. I sense betrayal. As a member of the galaxy's elite, Slero's mansion is heavily fortified by multiple levels of security and his own personal syndicate, Zarek Besh. After a failed job, Slero doesn't take kindly to Kay placing a bounty on her head and sending one of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, Vale, to hunt her down. This job, it's a death wish. The legendary Hut Cartel represent one of the criminal syndicates that Kay will encounter during her journey across the Outer Rim. Kay and Nyx will come face to face with their leader Jabba in his iconic throne room on Tatooine, but the Hut presence will be felt across other locations and planets too, where you will meet some new faces of the Hut Cartel so you'll need to be careful as your reputation will follow you. Out here, you live and die by Look your at that, reputation. Bro. That looks beautiful. These syndicates have real power in the underworld in each of the locations Kay and Nyx will visit on their journey. Their impact and influence will be felt wherever you go, from the vendors you interact with, the jobs you take on, the support you receive, and even the access you have to certain territories. This job is my one shot at freedom. Attempting to rob Slero's mansion alone would be impossible. Even if Kay and Nyx got in, they wouldn't be getting out. In order to pull off the job, Kay and Nyx will need to travel across the Outer Rim to find skilled outlaws Ooh. and convince them to join her in pulling off the greatest heist the galaxy has ever so seen. So recruitment of sorts. There's a lot of fun and exciting characters that you'll meet on your journey, some of whom you see here. Dude, I'm all for it, bro. Like, I'm all for it because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Raised in the underworld, Vale has had a toe in every syndicate and has learned from each of them. Because of her experience, Vale is a formidable adversary for Kay. She can fight, pilot, hunt, smuggle, anything she needs to do in order to pull off a job and claim her bounty. This is mixed up in something bigger. Kay grew up alone, fighting for scraps in the workers district of Canto Bight, relying on her skills as a thief and Nyx to pull off small cons to get by. Kay has always felt that the galaxy is rigged against people like her and has always dreamt of a life beyond Kanto 
where she does not answer to anyone. That rope. This job is her opportunity to make her dream a reality. That's gonna be really fun. To finally be truly free. Man, I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm excited for this game. It looks pretty cool. It looks really, really cool indeed. And I also do like that we only have one protagonist. I mean, I'm, I'm, some people enjoy choosing between male or female. I honestly prefer, and I feel like games come out better when they just focus on one character versus just trying to, you know, have somebody debate between one or the other. Just focus on one character, get one good voice actor for that character, and just develop the story around that character where it makes sense. August 30th, again, it cannot, it, it's right here. It's literally just a few months. Expect a full walkthrough here on the channel, without a doubt. Thank you guys for watching. Um, would love to see what you guys have to say now that we have a little bit more of an in-depth understanding of this game. The world looks so stinking cool. And it looks like we are going to be going into some sort of galactic adventure to recruit more individuals to perform the ultimate heist. So, thank you guys. I'll catch you later.